Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Maya tutorial, I'm going to talk about split polygons with the multi-cut tool. What you're going to be learning is how to make cuts, also how to make edge loop cuts, delete and extract faces, making 90 degree cuts, and hotkeys. You can split polygons using the multi-cut tool. In order to demonstrate this, I'm going to go to primitives and choose a cube and then press F on the keyboard and I'm going to go down to inputs and add in four subdivisions, four, four, and four. To access the multi-cut tool, we can go to the modeling toolbox and you will see the multi-cut tool right here. Now you can also access the multi-cut tool by going to mesh tools, multi-cut, and we do have some options. If we click on that, we can open up our option, options panel. And let's make sure we're on our tool. And we have snap uh, step percentage at set at 10, and I'll get to that in a moment. And we have our smoothing angle, and when we make a cut, right now it's default at 180, but the lower it is will give us a harder smoothing 180 will give us the uh, smoothest smoothing. And we have ignore back faces. So when we click and cut, it's going to ignore the faces that are in the back. So we don't have um, cuts, say, if we only want to cut in the front, we won't affect what's in the back. And we have delete faces, which will delete faces from our cut. And then we have our extract faces. So we do have some options. We're going to go through those in a little bit. So let's move over to the front of our object. Now, when you make a cut, it has to be originating from a vertex or an edge. If you hover around in the middle of your face, what's going to happen is, is you're going to have this orange line and then a yellow dot, a little point, and that will snap to the nearest vertex. So let's make a cut. And so you, you click once, and you'll see a yellow dot. And then you'll click again for your next cut. And that will connect, an orange line will connect those two points. Now, your tool is still active, so you can still make other connections. So if we click again, you can make another cut and then again. Now say you don't want this cut, you can always press Z on your keyboard and that's going to delete that last cut. And again, now if you want to redo, you can shift Z and that will bring in that cut right back in again. So we have a way of going through as we're cutting, we can uh, go backwards or forwards if we need to. So, okay, say you like this cut. Now what you can do is you can press return on your keyboard. And now that cut is now uh, in your model. So now we have that cut. Let's take a look at a few other ways we can make a cut. We can also make a loop cut. Now if we hold down uh, if we hold down shift, control shift, what we can do is we can add in a loop cut around our object. Now, if we just hold down control, we have our loop cut shift will hold, will snap to 10 degree increments that we had within our, our model, our tool settings. And so we can, we can adjust that five or 15, however much you want to have that snap to and so I can click and now we'll add in that cut now say for an example you wanted to make a cut through your object you can click outside of your object and then you can click again and you can see that we still have this orange line and we can slide it using middle mouse button or we can control 
any of the other points, two points that we, we cut in. So we have some a, a level of control of when we cut through. So now I'm gonna hit return, and now that cut is through my entire object. Now I had the settings, if I go to Mesh Tools, Multi-Cut, and then go to our, our panel, uh, let me go to Multi-Cut. Now you can see we have Ignore Back Faces. So if I make a cut, and then return, what you can see is anything that was visible, we got our cut. And then anything that is not visible by our camera will not make, will not have that cut. Okay, so now let's say we want to delete faces. We can make a cut, return. And now that's just gonna cut and delete those faces off of our object. Now we can also go to, <clears throat> excuse me, we can also go to extract. So if I make a cut, return, now that's going to, oh, let me undo, make sure I'm on extract, extract faces. Now I make a return cut, and you can see that this cut will now extract those faces away from this object. Now, as you can see, it's still one object. It's just cut away from our object here. So I just want to make that, that point out. So we do have some pretty interesting things that we can do with our, our multi-cut tool. Now, we also have the ability to, if I cut, or uh, let me make sure, uh, reset our settings here. Now, if I make a cut, what I can also do is hold down Control Shift, and we can snap to 90 degree angles. And you can see that with our uh, a little icon, we have a green and a dotted line. And this will show you sort of like a protractor where this 90 degree angle is on our mesh. So that can be also very, very useful. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.